related okay they are giving suppose v of x is equal to some alpha x power 2n or something hmm? or uh, alpha mod x power n or something okay speak up they are giving this kind of uh, uh, can i say like this some k I'll, I'll use k only okay k x power 2n or k mod x power n like that okay speak up when you plot them Okay, when, when n is equal to 1 here, it's a kx square. It's our simple harmonic motion, parabolic potential, simple harmonic motion, okay? When it is supposed, for example, okay, if v of x is equal to uh, kx raised to 6, suppose, okay, where this function has a minimum? Hmm. It's like this, actually, must be symmetric. Where this function has a minimum, v of x is equal to suppose uh, k x power 6. Where this has a minimum at 0. If you do its Taylor expansion, its Taylor expansion is itself. I mean, when we when we worked out that small oscillation, we did Taylor expansion. First, uh, first uh, uh, term was constant, we kicked it off. Second term was derivative at minimum, that's zero. Third term we took and we compared it with half k x square and we found frequency of small oscillation. Now, uh, now uh, suppose if you want to use w, what is this one? So second derivative at minimum, am I right? Divided by m or something, it won't work. Check that out. Second derivative at minimum is zero. First derivative, x raised to five. Second derivative, x raised to four. Minimum is x equal to 0. Okay, x raised to 4 at x equal to 0 is 0. You can't use this idea. And this idea is for small oscillation. In this problem, they don't ask small oscillation. They ask oscillation. They just say oscillation. It's not simple harmonic. Simple harmonic when parabolic potential comes. This is not parabolic, okay? But still, oscillation and periodic motion is possible here. Are you getting a point? Speak up. Periodic motion is possible here. Speak up. Hmm? Let me say, suppose this is amplitude, it must be symmetric. Minus A2 plus A. Periodic motion is possible. But it is not simple harmonic. Simple harmonic when potential is parabolic. Or potential is approximated as parabolic in that small oscillation. In, in the Taylor expansion, we approximated it as a small oscillation. Okay, I mean, ha, I mean, uh, uh, what what we stated over there in the Taylor expansion, as long as uh, that oscillation is amplitude is small, it is simple harmonic. We said like this, isn't it? Hmm? This v of x. Okay, so any any potential which has a minimum, okay, it can be expanded about that stable equilibrium x naught. Okay, if x naught is a stable equilibrium. If x naught is a stable equilibrium, that means minima of the potential. We did like this. Do you remember v dash of x naught plus 1 by 2 x minus x naught into v double dash of x naught plus and so on. This was 0, first derivative at minimum. Okay, this we kicked that off. So we took this one. Sorry, square comes here. Sorry. Linear term comes here. Am I right? What is that? 1 by 1 factorial, 1 by 2 factorial, x minus x naught. Isn't it like this? This was 0 because this derivative is 0. Okay. Speak up. This one, we kicked that off. We took this one, isn't it? We compared it for half k x square, half k into x square, displacement from equilibrium position. To neglect higher order part, what you have to do? You have to restrict to small oscillation. Minimum, I mean, lowest order variable term, dominant variable term is this one. When x minus x naught is small. Okay, we said when uh, when it is displacing, when, when the displacement is very small with respect to that stable equilibrium, if it is oscillating, being that amplitude small, it is simple harmonic. Why? It is following parabolic relation. Okay, speak. Hmm? Neglecting higher order part. Okay, but this won't come under that type of problem. 
hmm? speak up. You don't have any quadratic term in the Taylor expansion. Taylor expansion is itself. You don't have quadratic term in the Taylor expansion. Okay. So that's why this must be solved in a different way. Okay. Now let me pick the problem. Okay. Then I will explain that one. Okay. Speak up. Hmm? So this is a gate problem. Lagrangian of a particle is given. Speak up. Where lambda is a positive constant, if a particle, I mean, if I see the Lagrangian, I can grab what is V of X? What is V of X? Lambda X raised to 4. This is also that type only. Okay, speak up. Hmm? Then that, I mean, if it is oscillating with a total energy E, then the time period of oscillation is asking exp expression. He's not asking what is the uh, value of this integral and all. Okay, speak up. Hmm? Very logical question. Okay, I mean, and he, he plays some A. What is that A? That's what he's asking. Okay, speak up. Now, again, I mean, so let me, this is continued here. Okay, speak up. I mean, it must be fine. Is that okay? Hmm? V of x is equal to what is that? He wrote lambda x power 4. Okay, speak up as a function of x here. Fine. Now I will take its energy as e. Am I right? He, he said like that. Am I right? Take its energy as e here. Okay, speak up. By equating this energy to potential energy, you can locate these points. Classical turning point, we say. Isn't it? Hmm? Those are amplitude actually, minus a plus a. We are not restricting to small oscillation. Be careful. Okay. Speak up. Fine. Hmm. Speak up. How do you find this, this point? At this point, okay, E is equal to E is equal to lambda a raised to 4 or something. Can I write? Or lambda x i raised to 4 or something. Can I write like this? Okay, speak up. Hmm? X naught or something. Okay, it's fine. So now what is that X naught? From this, what, what you can solve X naught? Actually, it's a fourth root. Fourth root contain a negative value also. Sorry, imaginary value also. Don't take imaginary value. Okay, you take only real value. Plus or minus, okay, E by lambda raised to 1 by 4. Fourth root of unity, it will have two imaginary value. But we are talking about real value. Are you talking about? You will have x naught is equal to, speak up. I mean, x naught raised to 4 is equal to e by lambda. Am I right? Hmm? Speak up. If I had i, i, i to the power 4 is also plus 1. Am I right? Speak up. But anyway, that need not to be worried. Okay. Only real values. Okay. Speak up. Hmm? So that's why this a is nothing but, okay. a is nothing but e by lambda raised to 1 by 4. Can I say like this? So, minus E by lambda raised to 1 by 4 plus E by lambda raised to 1 by 4. Fine. One part. Okay. I mean, you just locate these things in terms of energy because he is asking in terms of energy. Okay. Next thing is you go for conservation law. Energy is constant. That is equal to half m v square hmm? plus v of x plus v of x. What is this v? v is nothing but dx by dt. Hmm. That v is nothing but dx by dt. Speak up. In this one, you separate the variable. You write dt is equal to dx by v. But this v, you write in terms of x here. <coughs> hmm? So how do you write? From this expression. Okay. Uh, v is equal to, speak up, E minus V of X. 
टू बाय एम अंडर रूट फ्रॉम दिस एक्सप्रेशन सॉल्व फॉर बी आई रोट स्पीड इन टर्म्स ऑफ एक्स नाउ फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स इज कॉन्स्टेंट ओके सो नाउ लेट मी कम हियर वॉट इज दिस वन सो डी टी इज नथिंग बट डी टी इज नथिंग बट स्पीक अप वन बाय रूट ऑफ टू बाय एम ई माइनस कैपिटल वी ऑफ एक्स पोटेंशियल ओके इन टू डी एक्स एम राइट speak up now i am going to integrate this one integration means what i mean i need time period out of this one am i right speak up then what i have to do i have to i mean what do you mean by one time period it should start from minus a it should go to plus a and it should come back to minus a now by logic you can say the time that it takes to go from minus a to plus a is equal to time that it takes takes to go from plus a to minus a can i say like this hmm so that's why i will write time period equal to twice the time that it takes to go from minus a to plus a okay because in the, in the integral i want to make it simple i want to just integrate that one right hand side from minus a to plus a minus a to plus a again plus a to minus a. i don't want to do that one okay speak up so that's why what i am doing here is okay speak up so time period is equal to okay Two times the speak up. I mean, in this side, you need to integrate. You will get time. Okay, so two times integral minus a to plus a of this one, one by root of two by m e minus v of x dx. Am I right? Are you understanding this expression? Okay, I'm I'm writing quite directly. Okay, so or uh, two times. Uh, I mean, you you write if you wish to write in one more step, you write in sentence. Two times, twice the time that it takes to go from minus a to plus a. Okay, speak up. From this expression, time it takes to go from minus a to plus a. That's equal to. let me write uh, this expression below okay speak up time that it goes it takes to go from give me a minute time that it takes to go from minus a to plus a okay can i write it as some uh, a to minus a to plus a hmm? which is actually half of the time period Isn't it? Which is actually half of the time period. That's equal to this one should be integrated. Okay, speak up. Can I say like this? Zero to zero to two d t. If I start my clock at minus a. Okay, this side minus a to plus a d x by root of two by m. What is this one? E minus v of x. Isn't it? Speak up. Hmm. So this is actually half of the time period. Actual time period is twice of that one. Okay. Now this v of x is even function. Check this out. Isn't it? Either it is x raised to four, x raised to six, x raised to eight like this, or mod x raised to cube, mod x like that. They give that one also. If v of x is even, okay, speak up. V of minus x is equal to v of x. Okay. This whole thing is a even function. Hmm. In case of even function, how do you write? Two into two times zero to a. Speak up. One by root of two by m e minus v of x dx. Fine. Four times zero to a. A is nothing but what is that? E by E by e, e by lambda raised to one by four. Now you go back and you choose your answer. A is nothing but four actually. Hmm. Is that it? Zero to zero to a. This this coefficient is nothing but four here. Hmm. Two into two. This term is expected. Fine. 
Is that okay? Answer in integer. He's asking time period. Hmm? Now, I, a particle moves in one dimensional potential, V of x equal to alpha x, x power 6, where alpha is greater than 0, is a constant. Okay. If total energy of the particle is C, the time period in the periodic motion is proportional to. Nowhere he said small oscillation. Periodic motion. Okay, speak up. How time period depends on energy. In case of our simple harmonic motion, time period doesn't depend on energy. Check this out. Time period is equal to root of k by m. I'm sorry, I mean, that is frequency, reciprocal of that one, isn't it? It doesn't depend on amplitude or energy. Check this out. Speak up. It depends on only spring constant or whatever the coefficient comes in the potential. But in general, you see this general expression. In general, it does depend on energy actually. Is that okay? Hmm? Now, how do you answer this one? How do you answer this one? Hmm? I know this one. Time period is equal to 4 times 0 to what is that? E by here alpha. Okay, raised to 1 by 4 only. Am I right? 6, 1 by 6 here, okay, speak up. 1 by 6, 1 by root of 2 by m into e minus alpha x power 6 dx. Any idea that you can generate here? Somehow try to take energy outside the integral and integral is some constant. Huh, exactly, exactly, exactly. That's right. If I put x is equal to e by alpha, no, no. x is equal to no, no. I need some a power 6 minus x power 6 here. Then actually integral can be solved. Isn't it? We used to do like that. Okay, that's why I'll take alpha outside here. Hmm? 4, 0, 2, okay. E by alpha raised to 1 by 6, okay. 1 by root of, okay. What I have to do? I have to take alpha outside. Isn't it? Two, 2 alpha by m, okay. So E by alpha minus x raised to 6. Can I write like this? Hmm? Into dx. Okay. So rather than e by alpha, I'll, I'll write e by alpha e by alpha raised to 1 by 6 raised to 6 minus x raised to 6. Fine. I, I could have written it as amplitude actually. Isn't it? Hmm? it I mean, it's actually 4 times. Okay. 0 to a, this is amplitude, am I right? Speak up. 1 by root of, okay? Root of 2 alpha by m, okay? a raised to 6 minus x raised to 6. Okay? If I write x is equal to a into r, x raised to 6 is equal to a raised to 6 into r. Hmm. This is the idea I was talking about. Okay, speak up. Hmm. So, 4 times when x equal to 0, what is that? r equal to 0. When x is equal to a, r is equal to 1. Am I right? 0 to 1. Huh. This is the step I was expecting. Okay, speak up. Hmm. Somehow take something outside, make integral independent of that one. So that you will get what are the proportionality factors. Am I right? Speak up. Hmm? Now, what is this one? When x equal to 0, r equal to 0. When x is equal to a, r equal to 1. Okay? Speak up. 4 times. Okay? So, 0 to 1. Hmm? Dx is a dr. Okay? Speak up. Hmm? 
So ADR over there, one by, okay. I mean, if you have A outside, A depends on energy, you know. What is the relation between A and energy, okay? Speak up, you can take care. This is the simplest expression, okay? From this one, you can start, okay? Speak up, what is this one? Hmm. Two alpha by M, okay? A raised to six plus minus, minus A raised to six into R raised to six. Fine? Speak up. Into A into DR. Check this up. Hmm. Now four times, okay? So A comes outside. A raised to six uh, uh, under root, am I right? A raised to six under root. What is this one? A cube comes outside. Okay. One by root of two alpha by m comes outside. Okay, look into this one. Zero to one. D whatever the integral is, it's not depending on energy or a or something. Am I right now? One minus r power six under root. Is that right? Any any mistakes? Check this out. That integral is something. I'll say like this because they are asking proportionality question. Hmm? Yeah, what are you thinking? Hmm? This is what I was. Uh, I was. I, I. I told you someday, am I right? Try to take something outside and uh, make it independent of that. This integral doesn't contain a or energy. All of a energy, everything came outside here. Okay. Somehow this is okay. Uh, 4 into root m by 2. Those are all constant, am I right? Speak up. Mass is also constant usually. They didn't ask any question related to mass, okay? In one question, they asked relation to alpha. In another question, they asked relation to amplitude. In another question, they asked relation to energy. Okay? 1 by root alpha is there. What happened? A 1 by A square remained. What is A? e by alpha raised to 1 by 6. Okay. If you want to write in terms of energy, what you do? 1 by root alpha, 1 by a square. What do you mean by this one? 1 by e by alpha cube. Sorry. 1 third square of this one. 1 third. Hmm. Hmm. 1 by alpha raised to 1 by 2 into alpha raised to 1 by 3 divided by e raised to 1 by 3. I mean, sometimes they are asking alpha power also. That's why I'm, I'm writing separately. Hmm. e power minus 1 by 3. That's your answer. Wait a second. This is our time period. Sometimes they may ask frequency. No, he's asking period only. e power minus 1 by 3. Hmm. Now, what I am saying here, here is, it can be done in exam hall also. Hmm? Not a big deal. I mean, if I think if I think of ideal method, you do the general problem on this one. Okay, speak up. Look into this problem. Are you getting my point? That integral was not quickly solvable, but they are asking proportionality question. I took all the uh, required term outside the integral, made integral independent of those physical quantities. Okay, speak up. Look into this question. Hmm? V of x equal to half k, half k x power 2n. Huh. Now, you should not quickly solve this problem, okay? You should try to eliminate option. Can you think of that one? Whenever one general problem is given, okay? Speak up. If you know the special case of the problem, if you know everything about that special case, then why can't you try to eliminate the option using that special case? What special case you know here? Uh, v of x is equal to half k x power 2n. For n equal to 1, you know everything. What is that? Half k x square. Am I right? Speak up. Hmm? For n equal to 1, what is our time period? 
omega is equal to root of simply k by m that's equal to 2 pi by time period he took it as tau okay speak up in this case that tau depends on only k it doesn't depend on hmm. that tau is equal to 2 pi by omega okay root of m by k or that is proportional to k power minus half and one more thing you know that it is independent of energy or amplitude okay for spring mass problem as long as hooke's law follows you make a small oscillation or a big oscillation time period is the same can you experience that one isn't it in in case of simple pendulum also okay i mean even though you give some slightly bigger oscillation as long as your assumptions are true okay its time period is the same actually in case of simple pendulum time period depends on length here it depends on k hmm? spring constant so that's why it is independent of amplitude that physics you should know okay in case of spring mass problem if i increase energy or decrease energy or if i increase or decrease the amplitude for a given mass and spring constant what is that time period is the same as long as hooke's law follows don't give very big oscillation so that it goes out of out of hooke's law you should re regain am i right that spring should regain okay that you should know okay and it is independent of energy can i say like this e power 0 Hmm? into e power 0 speak up now if i put n equal to 1 okay t should be proportional to k power minus half and e power 0 if i put n equal to 1 okay if i put n equal to 1 where you have e power 0 this is one possibility okay so you can eliminate these two if you put n equal to 1 you are not having e power 0 here you are having e power 0 now, whether minus 1 by 2n or minus 1 by n, minus 1 by 2n, minus half, am I right? n equal to 1. For n equal to 1, k should be minus half. That's why this is the option. Hmm? While teaching last batch, what I did is, I made a note on this one. This is very general expression. Look at here. Now you can use this one for other problems. Hmm? General expression. Isn't it? Hmm? So in general, okay, if V of X is equal to half K X power 2N, okay, speak up. Hmm? So time period proportional to K power minus 1, minus 1 by N, minus 1 by, minus 1 by 2N, okay, energy power 1, 1 minus N by 2N, 1 minus N by 2n 1 minus n by 2n okay energy he took e naught hmm? speak up i took e, e power 0 here i took like this okay e is my energy fine now this can be remembered okay if you remember this one you can solve all of those problem special case problem okay speak up this is general outcome hmm? Now, what I'm expecting is you prove this one using that taking outside idea, taking outside from the integral idea. You prove this one and I have a note. If you prove this one, you will have a confidence to solve problem, even though you forget the expression. Are you done? Prove this one. How? Because I need only proportionality here. Okay, you prove this one using this idea. Hmm? You you write uh, what is that? Uh, ex, what is that? Half k x power two uh, n. Okay, you try to manipulate in the exactly same manner, and you try to prove it. Okay, if you prove it, in the proof you may remember some pattern. Okay, or you will have a confidence to solve any of this problem. Fine, speak up. Now look at here. I, now if suppose this is this. If I remember this one, go back and solve that problem within no time. So he gave x power 6, am I right? 2, I mean, n is, n is 3. Right? If n is 3, this he didn't mention. He mentioned only how it is proportional to energy. 1 minus 3 divided by 6, minus 2 by 6, minus 1 by 3. 
e power minus 1 by 3. You got my point. Okay. You solve. I'll keep the problem here. I hope you got my logic. Okay. Speak up. You solve this one. Now look at here. In this one, he asks how it is depend on amplitude, not on energy. Isn't it? Hmm? Now, even though you know this expression, you should be able to convert this expression to amplitude expression. Why at the extreme position, uh, energy is nothing but potential energy. Am I right? Pick up. Hmm? Now, you write this to proportional to k power watt, okay, amplitude power watt. Hmm? For that, what I should do? I should first plot that, uh, okay, this curve. What is this one? Half k x power 2n. Am I right? If I have energy E, okay, at this point, what would happen? Hmm. Energy is equal to half k a power 2n. That's why a is equal to 2e by k power 1 by 2n. No, no, I need, I need to substitute for energy only. Am I right? I need to substitute for energy. Earlier, I wrote in terms of amplitude, then I converted to energy. Here, I have already in terms of energy pick up. So, that's why to proportional to k power minus 1 by 2n. Okay. You should do this kind of small, small manipulation. Okay. Kind of reverse engineering. Okay. What is that? Uh, half k raised to uh, 1 minus n by 2n. Okay. Into a raised to 2n raised to 1 minus n by 2n. Am I right? Right? Is that right? I just substituted energy in the extreme position. Energy, energy equal to potential energy in the extreme position. Can I say like this? Okay, I wrote half k a power 2n. That's the potential energy in the extreme position. Okay, speak up. This is my a here. Hmm? This is my a, this is my minus a or something. Okay, speak up. So that's why, now look at here. I got expression in terms of a. So time period proportional to, here also if you wish you can somehow club this one. Right, k power minus 1 by 2n, k power 1 minus n by 2n. Isn't it? Hmm? a power 1 minus n. Hmm? Right? A power 2n raised to 1 minus n by 2n. In the power, this should be multiplied. Am I right? Speak up. Hmm? Hmm? K power, I mean, you, you are taking uh, LCM here. Minus 1 by 2n plus 1 minus n by 2n. 2n. Huh. K power minus n by 2n, a power 1 minus n. This is in terms of amplitude. Okay. If n equal to 1, it was independent of amplitude. Am I right? If n equal to 1. Hmm. 1 by 2 will come. Hmm? Huh. K, is, uh, K power is same in all. Am I right? Huh? Amplitude and energy. That's right. Oh, it depends on k in the same manner in all problem. What is this one? Alpha power one by three. Alpha power. Something is missing. Look at here. Alpha power. Any any mistake here? Alpha power 1 by 3 minus 1 by 2. What is this one? Alpha power? Minus? 1 by? 1 by 6. Then where we did the mistake here?
you better to prove this expression who knows if, if they have done any mistake in this expression yeah, what you can multiply like that always proportional to k and always proportional to k and hmm. you are multiplying that no, no, no. What I'm saying is, when you write in terms of amplitude, this k came. When you write in terms of energy, this k came, which depends on you. No, no. I mean, this. Oh, okay, okay. There we have. Uh, there we, I took. I'm thinking x four n, but here x four two n. No, I mean, somehow it should be. If you write in terms of energy, this is the k power. If you write in terms of amplitude, that is the k power. Can I say like this? Hmm? What I wrote again, I wrote in terms of energy. Here, don't don't mix that up. Am I right? Here we wrote in terms of energy. Alpha power depends on n. If you if you write in terms of a, you can see here, am I right? If you write in terms of A, 1 by root alpha, alpha raised to minus half, am I right? That's always true. That's why you better to remember amplitude expression. You can always convert that one into energy. What do you say? Hmm? See this expression. 1 by root alpha. In any problem, you will have 1 by root alpha only. Only A power will be. How 1 by root alpha came? That root of 2 alpha by M. In all problem, that is the same. Hmm? That is the result we obtained over there. Okay, when you write in terms of amplitude, alpha power remains the same in all problem. When you write in terms of energy, alpha power depends on that n. Okay, speak up. Hmm? So that's what we uh, what you call got here. Okay, speak up. That's right. That can be. Hmm? That can be. Okay, but the best way is k power minus a power. 1 minus n. This is the easiest expression to remember. Hmm? Now, in this problem, what is asking? Kx raised to 4 at time t equal to 0. Particles, okay. Kx raised to 4, you should write it as kx power 2n. Okay, what is n? 2 here. Okay, be careful. Be careful. Okay, I mean that problem, okay, we wrote export 2n we took potential as not export n export 2n be careful over there for if if for, for what potential v of x is equal to half k export 2n half you don't have to worry that's a constant okay 2n here okay speak up so that's why n is equal to 2 here so then time period proportional to what is that k power minus 1 by 2 into amplitude power 1 minus n that's equal to k power minus 1 by 2 amplitude power 1 minus 2. Okay. Speak up. What is that? Amplitude power minus 1. Hmm? Speak up. Now, if this problem becomes very simple. Okay. Speak up. Mod x is there. Now, you can't apply that formula. Am I right? 2n raised to 2n. Hmm. Isn't it? What do you write? I mean, you you if you remember that formula, what do you write? You can't do that one. That's why I'm expecting you to prove that very general mod x power n, not x power 2n. Mod x power n. Or do it in an ideal way. Be careful, coefficient is a, it will fight with our symbol amplitude a. Be careful. Okay. Can you do this one? Do it in ideal way. Hmm? Huh, it, it has a sharp edge, that's right. But still, so that, that won't, uh, what you call, that can have, speak of V of X as a function of X, okay? Still, it can have energy and oscillation. Oh, again, A I wrote. Why? Minus a plus a, okay? Small a is my amplitude, okay? It can do the oscillation. Fine? Do it again, okay? Speak up. 
do it in ideal way near by the exam you can think of remembering or proving some formula and keeping as a note or something okay speak up hmm? and what i am saying is okay if possible why can't you prove for this one v of x is equal to okay alpha mod x power n this will be for all problem right what is say suppose if i give mod x power q or only mod x hmm? i mean until our our formula whatever we have what to call taken here that was for x power x x power even even power am i right even power of x okay but you can put mod and you can make odd power x am i right if you put mod again that will become bound motion only isn't it hmm? i mean only if f of x equal to x that's not bound motion am i right or x cube is not bound motion this is not bound motion if you take mod x cube then what will happen it will be like this that will be bound motion it should be bound motion am i right speak up are you getting my logic so you prove that one for this one prove everything for this one for this potential and make a note Hmm? Hmm? Uh, time period is infinity isn't it frequency is zero there is not frequent can i say like this hmm. it, it is going and it while coming back it is taking infinite time means it is not coming back you don't define frequency why do you define frequency if it is not frequent hmm? speak up uh, now you prove everything for this one Hmm? Speak up. This holds for all problem, am I right? If you prove that one. Now, while doing that one, you you have minus a to plus a, or something. You convert it into zero to a. In the zero to a, you don't have to write mod x. You can write mod x as x. In the region zero to a, am I right? Speak up. You prove for this one, so it is for everything. Fine. I took alpha. Okay, he may take k in the problem. This this works for. that 2n also am i right hmm speak up this works for 2n also if you have even power you don't need to put mod at all isn't it speak up that's what he took hmm but problem is not only restricted to even power of x you can put mod you can make you can raise the odd power also okay if you put mod it will be again bound motion again it's possible mod x power phi suppose fine Hmm? One by one by what? What one by two? This question that I need to think of that integral only. I mean, I don't have any direct formula here. Hmm. Or I will do one thing. Okay, here I will take y is equal to one by two, but mod should be there actually. Okay. Hmm, wait a second. If I take n is equal to one by two, one minus one by two, that is one by two. That's right, isn't it? If I want to use this formula, I have x power one over there. Am I right? Mod x power one actually. If you, if you take n is equal to one by two, you will have x power one. Okay. If you put n equal to one by two, yeah, that works actually. Hmm? But I am expecting you to prove this one. No, no, look at here. Okay. Suppose you remembered this problem. this this one and all you are solving all problem okay if they ask problem like this what would you do if you don't know any step you remember that formula if they ask problem like this what you do hmm? because they are observing coaching classes they make formulas and all okay speak up especially in gate and jam exam okay look at this problem suppose you buy hatted some formula then how do you do this problem you you don't know how to approach it at all isn't it speak up so that's why they are very clever okay speak up hmm? you do in ideal way and you prove for this one and you keep it okay that i copied from csr net uh, exam i mean this formula i copied from this csr net exam answer key am i right where i wrote that one ha huh. 
this this csr net okay i first eliminated the option i found the right option then i copied actually i didn't do okay so that won't work okay speak up hmm? each concept you work on every aspect of it okay ha huh. the actual theory behind this this oscillation problem is this one okay so i mean if you have any bound motion okay in case of potential okay speak up i mean assume that it is symmetric okay you, your phase space trajectory okay It, it, it is i mean it need not be ellipse but it's a closed curve am i right speak up you find area within that one that area we call it as action angle variable this is actually next chapter hamilton jacobi theory okay speak up hmm? we call it as action closed integral of p dq if i take it as q okay that closed integral means okay you need this area only or what you can do you can integrate when it goes from minus a to plus a and you can double it hmm? closed integral means over one complete time period okay i mean it will start from here it goes around and it will come back here am i right after one complete time period on a phase space trajectory isn't it hmm? now then what you need to do is okay i don't exactly remember okay so hamiltonian should be written in terms of j this j Hmm? Usually, conservative system it is possible. After writing Hamiltonian in terms of J, speak up. I mean, there is theory comes. Okay, speak up. So that in that theory, do H by do J will be equal to one by time period. one by time period hmm? i mean i'm i'm thinking they are asking question in the perspective of hamilton jacobi theory okay but it can be done without that one also we have done okay we have done all all the problem this is actual theory okay speak up one by time period do h by do j okay speak up hmm? anyway i mean just have a note on this one okay but we already got to know okay how to do this and what is that time period is equal to 4 times dx by root of 2 by m e minus v of x okay so that v of x will be this kind of symmetric uh, bound curve Hmm, roughly okay speak up e is the energy speak up hmm these are your amplitude minus a plus a fine proceed you got my point do it properly hmm okay we will meet evening i think i may slowly start uh, op amp also or at least i will introduce okay speak up op amp idea in the second session of the evening first session we have to solve uh, two more biasing okay you can start solving this mcq hmm? just work out this one and then go to uh, that what you call transistor related mcq fine speak up okay we will meet evening any question